This video is about the Zadar, the quad envelope generator from Chaos Devices. This isn't sponsored, this is uh, my own purchase. And um, I just wanted to show you what I've been up to. Uh, I got this a while back um, because I wanted some more LFOs and envelopes. And this, if you don't know ZR, it's really interesting in that it provides you with various uh, wave shapes or, or just control shapes that are then used usually as an envelope. It could be looped envelopes. And if you loop them at a rate that is fast enough, you get an audio signal. So it also can be an oscillator. Now I didn't get it for that last function, but I was curious. And so I did uh, play around with that a little bit. And um, I'll show you just sort of what I went through when I was first thinking of this. Here we have on channel D, this is set up currently as an envelope. If I turn on the repeats of the envelope to infinite, it's now a looping envelope. As you can see, it's just looping over and over. And right now we're actually taking the output of this and feeding it into the mixer as an audio signal. And of course it's so slow we can't hear anything. So what we've got to do is bit by bit, we're going to bring the speed up. You can hear as we get faster and faster repetitions. Now we've got an oscillator. Now you can vary the pitch of the oscillator. There is a CV input for each of these channels, and if you fine tune it correctly, it will take volt per octave information. It's not really designed to do that um, as as a main function. So it is not uh, perfectly tracking, but it's pretty close. Um, the other thing you can do through this CV input is you can change the warping of this um, shape. So as you can see, this changes by squashing and stretching the shape. And if we're listening to that as an oscillator, you get some pretty interesting sounds. Try a different shape here. Some of that sounds so uh, like we're using filter with a high resonance and that is not the case. These are running directly into my mixing board with no effects. Um, but I do want to show you sort of what I started playing with after I got the NIN expander because now I have two CV inputs for each of the channels, which means that not only can I play a melody by using one of the inputs as volt per octave input, I can use the other input to squash and stretch and shape the sound as we hear it. This thought that I could do two of these at the same time is actually what prompted me to buy the expander. So if you want to do this experiment with this at R, you're you kind of need the expander to really get it going. So I want to play um, sort of what I set up here. I've got uh, 
I'll, I'll let you hear it and then I'll explain what's going on. This is a silly little bass line I've got going on. And you can see this warp here happening with each note. It sort of just gives it an interesting shape. Now, I've also got this sound going through a low pass gate just below the camera's reach here. And uh, just got it sort of triggered to give it that punchy sound. We've got our, our second little sound here. This is also coming from ZR. So suddenly, instead of a quad envelope generator, I sort of can have a quad oscillator with interesting wave shaping functions. Or I can use a dual oscillator and dual wave shaper. So this is now going to be a permanent fixture in my gigging case because it's so versatile if you think of it in those terms. The melodies you're hearing are coming from the Stochastic Inspiration Generator, as well as the uh, triggers, which are being fed into Optimix, just uh, to give that little plucky tone. So I've got two different voices here. And I'll add in the third voice I played with, which is this channel. Of course, uh, we could add a little reverb. Okay, we got a little percussion track here I'm going to add just for fun. Percussion is just a, uh, so samples coming from the disting, um, going through a uh, ring modulator. So I'm going to get quite a bit of sound out of the ZR if we're not already using the envelopes. Let me know if you guys have done this much experimentation with it or if you've done some other fun things. I'd like to hear, um, you know, if this, if this was useful for you. And um, I will see you in the next video. Thanks.